Torricelli's law of efflux. First, let me explain the meaning of term efflux. For that, let's consider a closed tank of area of cross section A filled with some fluid up to certain height h and at a depth small h from free liquid surface there is an opening through which fluid flows out and this opening is known as orifice and the outflow of fluid through this orifice is known as efflux and the velocity with which that fluid flows out that is known as velocity of efflux. So <coughs> let the area of cross section of this orifice is considered as A0. Now this one is open to atmosphere. Therefore pressure acting at this particular point is equal to atmospheric pressure. Therefore I will consider that as PA. PA represents atmospheric pressure and over this free liquid surface the pressure acting let it be p now if you want to get an expression for velocity of efflux we need to use bernoulli's principle and equation of continuity so using that if you rearrange for velocity of efflux finally we get the expression for velocity of efflux in the case of closed tank is given by v equal to root of 2gh plus 2 into p minus pa divided by rho where rho is known as fluid density now instead of closed tank if you use an open tank in the case of open tank the free liquid surface is open to atmosphere therefore pressure acting over this is equal to atmospheric pressure itself okay therefore in previous expression in this expression we need to consider this p as pa that is equal to atmospheric pressure and this one remains the same because this orifice is open to atmosphere therefore pressure acting at that particular point is atmospheric pressure itself therefore if you just rearrange this equation or if you substitute P A instead of P in this expression, we get ex velocity of efflux in the case of open tank. Therefore, when tank is open to atmosphere, P equal to P A. Therefore, we get velocity of efflux in the case of open tank, V equal to root of 2 G H. This is the expression for freely velocity of freely falling body itself. Is not or speed of freely falling body. That is what statement of the Storicelli's law explains. The velocity of efflux of a liquid is equal to the velocity which a body acquires in falling freely from the free liquid surface to orifice. From the expression of velocity of efflux, it is clear that velocity of efflux is directly proportional to root h. That means velocity of efflux is directly proportional to the distance of that orifice from free liquid surface. As this distance increases, velocity of efflux will also increase. For example, in this diagram, hole number 1 that has maximum distance from free liquid surface. Therefore, velocity of efflux through this hole is maximum. V1 is maximum. Then comes second hole that is V2 we can consider. V2. Okay. Then comes V3. Then comes V4. That means greater is the distance of the hole from free surface of liquid greater will be the velocity of efflux. Now when this fluid flows out initially that moves in horizontal direction and then comes down. That means initial vertical component of velocity is zero in this case. That is like free fall condition when v not equal to zero. 
free fall condition we can consider. Therefore, if you want to calculate time taken by this fluid to reach this base level from here to here, how much time is required? Again, since it is like free fall condition, we can use the time taken in the case of free fall that is P equal to root of 2H by G. But instead of H, this height you need to consider that is nothing but H minus H. So, in the equation of free fall, T equal to root of 2H by G. Instead of H, just consider that as H minus H divided by G. That gives the time taken by this fluid to reach this base level. The horizontal distance covered by this efflux is known as range of efflux. So, if you want to calculate range, range is nothing but distance from here to here. Distance can be calculated using speed into time. Speed is velocity of efflux you can consider. Root of 2gh speed into time time taken by that fluid to move this much distance h minus h distance we already calculated that that is root of 2 into h minus h divided by g just simplify this and finally you will get range of efflux x equal to 2 into root of h into h minus h again this range that depends on h value now, if you look at this diagram, there are three holes and range in each case is different. So, first one from here to here and second one from here to here that is maximum and third one it is from here to here. So, in each case range is maximum. So, sorry, different. So, for this second one range is maximum. So, what is the condition to get maximum range? If you look at this, the height of this hole from free liquid surface is half of total height, h equal to h by 2. Therefore, to get maximum range, the height of or the <coughs> distance of that orifice from free liquid surface must be equal to half of total height of that liquid. Therefore, h equal to h by 2. If you substitute this in your expression of range, then you will get expression or value of maximum range. So, x max equal to h you will get. That means, the maximum range is equal to height of this liquid itself. As liquid flows out, the liquid level that goes on decreasing. Now, if you want to calculate time taken to fall in liquid level from H to H dash, then we can use this expression. So, in this expression, A that you know area of cross section of this container or tank and A naught is area of cross section of this orifice. Therefore, time taken to decrease the liquid level from H to H dash is given by T equal to A by A naught into root of 2 by G into root H minus root H dash where H dash is final height of that liquid level. Now, if you want to empty this tank, the hole or orifice must be at bottom of the tank. So, when <coughs> When tank becomes empty, then height of water, final height of water, H dash, that becomes 0. Therefore, just substitute this H dash value in this expression, H dash equal to 0, and just simplify, you will get this expression. It, then time taken to empty the tank is given by A by A naught root of 2H by G.